Okay, first up, I will read the signs. They say... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now we gotta go. Um, I'll fill you in on that later. I want to right away start trying to find out where I am and how to get some resources and survive. Because this is super hostile. And as you can see, I'm stuck on a cobble thing. Oh, there's a big tree over there. There is a big tree over there. Maybe. I don't trust this Vex guy. He is an evil man with vampire teeth, and he sits in his basement and makes cruel maps to torture mind player, Minecraft players with. Uh, no, actually, he's a really cool guy, an inventive guy who makes very interesting maps, but they are very hard, so you can't mess around. So you find a chest to start out with, and look what you get. Another pants, so I'm a styling. Oh, I'm going to be a topless lady running around wearing only pants. Come on, Vex, you could have given me a shirt. I'm, I'm a modest person. Okay, well, for now, I got some pants, a sign, a chest, some snowballs, and some eggs. Um, okay. Now, I suppose I could throw snowballs at mobs and knock them off of this thing. So, I guess that's my weapon for now. No, the sign, I guess, is my weapon, but snowballs could... Okay, here's the thing. Here's here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dig sand. I'm going to make sandstone. And then I will have blocks. So I can bridge over to that tree. If if indeed it is a tree. I, I don't trust the guy. It's a mirage. It could very well be a mirage. But here, okay. I'm digging to find... To, uh... Make some sandstone. Uh, I think I'm going to make a pit and put the eggs in it, which, I mean, uh, we'll try to make chickens, and they will live in the pit. I was just about to say because I don't have fence, but uh, there is a whole lot of fence right over there, isn't there? Uh, okay, well, however I do it, I'm going to try to make chickens from those eggs uh, because food is scarce on a Vex map. That's that's all I really know. I've, this is the first time I've played one of these maps and I've, I've seen a, a couple videos of other people playing Vex maps. I very much on purpose did not watch a video for this map because I want to discover the things myself. Um, and have fun doing so. Oh, look at that beautiful tree. The tree off in the distance. It is a mirage. I mean, seriously, I am dead in the water until I get some wood. I mean, everything in Minecraft just, it starts from that. I'm sorry, I don't think there is another way around that. You know, food, you got a hoe. You need a wood to make a hoe, to make a farm. To make a sword, to... No, oh, I suppose you could... No, not even. You can... Mushrooms, you need a bowl. You need wood. You are dead in the water until you get wood. So, I really have to not allow myself to go off on any other tangents, but just get to that tree. Oh, but look, there's a... There's an interesting structure over there. Um, yeah, see, this is why... This is exactly why I have to keep reminding myself to not get distracted. I am a person that is very easy to get distracted. Oh, look, it's a it's a mushroom right down there on the bottom of the screen a minute ago. I saw a red mushroom and a brown mushroom. I'm going to file that in my brain for later. And right now I'm going to get to that tree. I'm digging sand while daylight permits. But then, hey, later, first thing, I'm getting over to that, that mossy thing over there and to those mushrooms. And I wonder if he placed that cloud. See the, 
monsters on the right part of your screen that are that are uh, under a convenient cloud. I wonder if he placed it like that or just well anyway. There's also something that either didn't render or it's I don't know. I don't know what those clouds are if they're actually uh, places I need to get to or if they're just structures to add to the ambiance. The monsters seem to think that they're legitimate places to spawn and live. Oh, beautiful tree. Oh, not beautiful creeper. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. I'm not, no, 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 no. I'm not ready for this yet. You stay down there. I got places to go. Oh, okay. That there, the blue thing, that with the creeper on it, uh, um, that's where I have to go eventually. That is, that's going to be the victory monument. I am going to need to collect a piece of wool. Oh, my beautiful tree. Um, a piece of wool of all the colors, and then you put them in the victory monument. And so that's basically the goal of this map. But really, the goal is to stay alive long enough to be able to do those things. Because <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to... Oh, oh, go away, green guy. I'm not ready for you yet. I'm armed with a sign and some snowball. I mean, come on, dude. And you've got, like, ingrown TNT. You call that a fair fight? Here, fall, 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 fall. Fall! No! Actually, you know what? Actually, I kind of don't mind if he blows. Yeah, no, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go on. Just don't hit me. Because, here, check it. Um, go on. I mean, I don't want to get injured. But, on the other hand, I wouldn't mind if he kind of helped me mine some cobble. Yeah, he mined some hearts. Yeah, he mined those, all right. Um, but, yeah, see, I got some cobble out of that. I, I'm actually not, not disappointed that he blew up. Not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, what I'm doing right here is, um, uh, I don't want to go near all those monsters over there. I want to get to the tree. I want to have enough blocks to do so. And from the looks of it, I'm going to need to, you know, probably make some kind of stairway up there. So, yeah, I'm getting all this sand. I'm going to make sandstone. I'm going to make a bridge. I'm going to go over to the tree. And then life can begin. Once I've got some wood, I'm going to feel a whole heck of a lot better. So I don't really know. I didn't scour around... Um, I don't know. There, there might be a, might be a shorter way over there. Um, oh, I hear zombies are below me. Okay, so somebody's, somebody is down there. Okay, I'm gonna make my, uh, my chicken pit. I think it's probably a good idea to get them started now, so they can grow. And then I'm going to do my other business. I will come back and there will be full-grown chickens and I will eat them. And oof, there's the music already telling me the day is coming to a close. So yeah, wish me luck here. Come on, come on, chickens, chickens. Oh, out of 16, I should have gotten one. Uh. Yeah, see, I don't even have a seed to my name. Or I would breed these guys. There's not even grass. There's not even dirt to make grass. Ugh. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to leave those guys to go about their growing business. And I am going to get over to that tree. And dirt. There, there's at least a dirt over there. Um, actually, I, I saw a, more than one dirt. So, yeah, okay, so right now, uh, it's all about, okay, I hear a zombie dying. Why is he dying? Is he trying to follow me and came into the sun? What is killing them? Oh, yeah, he is trying to follow me and came into the sun. Oh, hey, um... 
You got some meat? You got some meat? How about some meat? Oh, no, not you! I don't want a skeleton. Ugh. Yeah, I'm going for that meat. Because this is a Vex map. You gotta eat anything you can find. I mean, you're freaking like, if there was rats, you'd be eating them. I mean, I have seen him reduce the best players to just eaters of meat. Eaters of zombie meat. So yeah, I have no shame. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this and hopefully not get myself killed by a skeleton in the process. Or two. Ugh. See, this is exactly why I say Oh look, they're fighting with each other. They're as bad as I am. I was going to say this is exactly why I shouldn't let myself get distracted. This is the type of thing I do. I'll start following further and further into the hole. But I did on this case notice there was a red mushroom down there. So I'm going to file that information for later. I will be back. I will be back for you. But right now I gotta get over there before this area right here gets all full of mobs. Ah, see there's already one over where the tree is. Oh, man. I'm just looking for the shortest place to bridge. Uh, you know, there, there could very well be something much shorter or safer or maybe even not requiring a bridge at all. I don't know, but I don't really have the time to spend wandering around trying to find out. I've already gone till nighttime and uh I haven't accomplished much I'm not even well okay anyway so that's why I'm not looking for another route I'm bridging this and oh by the way uh, if anyone is wondering I'm playing on normal difficulty a lot of those times I don't believe people they say they're playing on hard or at least normal and then they they go and they thonk a creeper on the head with a stone sword and it dies in one hit. I, like, that... I think they're lying. I think they're actually playing on easy and they claim they're not. But anyway, okay, so I'm on normal and I'm trying to find a way up this thing without too much digging and with very frugal use of my precious sandstone. Oh, coal. Coal. Oh, I will get that later. Um, uh, okay. I might go back and, and speed up this, this part. Me trying to find the most sensible path. Um, it's probably going to be boring. Okay, I've heard of. Uh, I've heard of these. He puts uh, um, effects on a, on a sign, and you can use it as a weapon. Kind of like that. We got a closet full of leather pants, cause I'm a rock star. How would Bex happen to know that I just happen to be a rock star when I'm not playing Minecraft? And I need a, another closet full of leather pants. But cool. Okay. So, I got my battle sign, I got my leather pants, and I'm still trying to find the most sensible and frugal path up to the beautiful tree in the sky, and my secondary objective is to grab some of this dirt. That's why you see me down here. Um, you know, I would that dirt is not doing anybody any good, just hanging in the air, you know, not meeting the sky and covered up and all of that kind of stuff. When I could be grabbing it, oh, or I could be just tossing it off the cliffside. Ah. Okay, what I meant to say was I could be grabbing it and uh, then I will place it down into somewhere more sensible and use it to grow trees on. Also, 
Yeah, see, like the dirt right there, you see it, it's under the other dirt. Now it's not going to do me no good. Not going to do me no good just sitting under there. What I need to do is uh, kind of make a platform here. Because uh, when I go up on that tree, I want to save anything that might fall down. Like, for example, I don't know, apples, because I am starving. Um, and, uh, of course, saplings to grow more trees. Okay. Yeah, probably I'm going to fast forward through a lot of this part too, because I'm really just kind of looking around, like I said, just trying to find the most sensible way, like kind of judge here how much things from that tree are going to fall, like how far they might fall. I actually wanted to go and retrieve that piece of dirt that I dropped. <laughs> oh, you know, in my survival world, I, I can't count how many tons of dirt I've thrown away and how annoying it is because I'm very, um, you know, I'm a very kind of OCD person and I just kind of keep everything that I have and I get these like chests full of extra cobble and dirt and, uh, now here I am actually willing to climb down this big old cliff face and waste my precious time just to find one little piece of dropped dirt. Um, pretty pathetic. But uh, anyway, okay, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to do the most sensible way without using up all my sand in the process of grabbing dirts that are otherwise not really being usefully employed and putting them into some kind of platform so that I can capture anything that drops from that tree, which, like I said, saplings and hopefully an apple or two to save me from death's door, because I better get something going on before these last six hunger bars, hunger pops, whatever you call them, before they disappear. So, yeah, okay, so that's what I'm trying to do right now. Okay. Yeah. Probably I'm going to fast forward through a lot of this part too, because I'm really just kind of looking around. Like I said, just trying to find the most sensible way, like kind of judge here how much things from that tree are going to fall. I can't afford to die. I would. I don't even really have much of resources to lose, but uh, uh, even what I do have, I, I don't want to lose. So I'm just going to let stuff fall on me and grab it. Ah, saplings already! Yay! Okay, I'm good. E you know, even just one sapling, it just, like, changes your life. It changes my whole life. My life has changed. I got a sapling. Okay, I'm just already thinking of all the cool things I'm going to make with this wood, like swords, and pits, and shovels, and more swords, and a bow. Oh, I'm going to make a bow. Okay. So now, now it is time to go exploring, because, okay, I need to get some food, or I'm going to die. So I'd like to check on my chickens. Um, I realize it is exceedingly dumb to go check on the chickens, you know, yeah, wait till dark and then go check on the chickens. Yeah, good one, Sly J. <sighs> but, yeah, I guess I didn't do the best time management that I could have. And I forgot, I still forgot to make a shovel. What's up with that? Oh, yay. 
Okay, I'm just going to fast forward through me making my way painstakingly down this little cliffside and across my skinny and pathetic little bridge, which I was lucky to not get shot off of by a skeleton. Uh, yeah, no, really, if I weren't so low on hunger, I would definitely not be going out right now. Uh, here they come. All right. Hi, guys. Uh... Top of the evening to you. Yeah. Okay. This is okay. Yeah, as Vex said himself, if you are getting killed by zombies, you really should have to rethink your strategies. Because, <laughs> yeah. No, those, those, those guys are, are pretty easy. Um, we can just uh, not get any creepers or skeletons. Nice. Fill up my pantry with rotting flesh. Or, in Minecraft land, dog food. I'm eating dog food. Okay. Nice! Okay, so this is the, uh, the battle sign. Notice that knockback on this sign. That would be, if I could knock him, like, all the way... I, I knocked him actually all the way out of aggro range. That 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 good to know. Good to know. That's pretty cool. It would have been very very fun to what knock him off of this little sky island altogether. But uh, you know I'll, I'll take it. There's my chicken pit. So if I could just make it down there without the creeper on my left. Uh, now this is why they call them mobs, as they mob you. Okay. Retreat. It is time for a retreat. No! No, 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 no. I angered the Enderman. I angered... I'm... I didn't even have time to say, I'm a goner. I was going to say, I'm a goner. And I didn't even have time to say, I'm a goner. Oh, man... I actually angered him through the creeper that was in between us. Oh, that's not fair. Ender dude, I didn't even look at you. I wasn't looking at you. I was looking at him and you were behind him. I would call that a little sensitive. I, I would call that a little overly sensitive. You know, there's a, there's a number to call. <sighs> 